All right, so we're going to talk about what I believe is really good for Madden and what EA is trying to do and what they're unable to do. By the way, I uh, my voice is very hoarse, um, so I apologize. EA dropped Peyton Manning and they dropped Eli Manning. Now, these are two of my favorite quarterbacks, actually. Uh, I'm a big, I have like a special place in my heart for Eli Manning. Something about someone who's like actually terrible beating the best teams in the world when it matters just like very much warms my heart. It gets me excited. It gets me going. So I'm a big Eli Manning fan and Peyton, I guess is cool as well, honestly. But what, e what they're trying to do here is they're trying to introduce a new quarterback who can be very popular and used very often because they have without knowing, I don't know if they meant to do this or not, but on February 29th, EA released the best card in all of Madden 24 and he's still the best card at all of Madden 24, and it isn't debatable. Now, we're going to talk about some of this stuff. First and foremost, the biggest improvements that Peyton Manning and Eli Manning have in terms of just ratings are all things that don't really matter. And what I mean by that is, look, I'm somebody who I try hard this game, okay? Well, I'm not huge into, like, the mutt nerd stuff, I do care about having players in my field who can win, especially when I'm in competitive games. And never once... Have I looked at my quarterback and looked at his throwing ratings? I don't care. They are irrelevant. 98 mid-accuracy. And what is Bo Jackson's? 90 mid-accuracy. These are the same thing. Literally, 98 and 90 for mid-accuracy is the same thing. I have not looked at these stats in years because they're just irrelevant. They, they really, really are. Um, and, and it's too bad that they are. Well, actually, for these, I'm glad that they are irrelevant. I... I hate quarterbacks missing throws in Madden, but whatever. But what they've done is Bo Jackson can make every throw and he's 98 speed. So he's the, he can hit every throw and he's the fastest quarterback on the field. And the reason having a mobile quarterback is so, is so important is because it, it literally changes everything. And like to be more specific, it changes how you block blitzes. It changes how you beat blitzes. It changes how your red zone game is. It changes your, your rushing game because you can run with your quarterback. You can break the pocket with him, and you can start calling read options, which are actually effective if you sprinkle them into your scheme. Like, they're actually really, really good, right? And then on top of that, they're also great for if you get bagged, you can have either a couple yards scrambling or a broken play and find somebody open. The fact of the matter is using Peyton Manning and Eli Manning, while I will test them out and have some fun with them, you will lose more games by using either of these dudes. Either You use either of them, you will end up losing more games just straight up. Just like that is the fact of the matter, which is too bad. Uh, it, it, it's too bad because these are obviously huge names. Now let's talk about where some of the stuff is cool with them. Uh, add AKA Eli Manny to Payton's upgrade path and receive Hot or Master for zero AP. So Bo Jackson, uh, the, they're probably got, Peyton Manning's probably going to get Bo Jackson's stack for cheaper. That is cool, but there, it, it, it doesn't negate the fact that the speed difference, there is a 25 speed difference here. For Eli, it's 27, 27 speed difference. That legitimately is the difference between scoring touchdowns on every drive and getting on your hands and knees and begging your opponent to stop calling a free safety zone blitz or calling 4-3-6-1. It literally is. Like, it is... The biggest, biggest, biggest difference. And again, I want to reiterate, I like these cards. I like the idea behind these cards. But, you know, we, all, we literally play a game where it'd be a little bit different if you really couldn't roll out in this game. But the, 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 the meta that we're playing right now is literally A-gap blitzes, right? Free safety zone blitz. Uh, I do some stuff on 3-4 odd. Um, and then like four, three, six, one, where does that usually come in at? It usually disengages you up the middle. How do you get a, how do you be a disengage up the middle defense by rolling out? Got to be able to roll out. Got to be able to roll out. Uh, there is another kind of cool thing here where we can upgrade both items in place. Uh, if, if you upgrade both items and place them in your lineup, you can unlock a team chemistry that, that provides a plus one speed to all NFL theme teams, not including Kansas city and San Francisco. I don't know why they're, that's the two Super Bowl teams. I don't know why they're left out of that, but whatever. Um, that's cool. That one, if you do that, 
I don't even know if you can have a third quarterback in your mutt lineup. So you're just saying you have to have one of them. And even if you could, let's say you get Peyton Manning. Let's say you get Eli Manning. And then you have Bo Jackson. I mean, holy shit. You are investing like 2 million coins in just your backup quarterbacks or however much these cards are going to cost. I don't know. But like, that seems like quite the investment. Although that is cool. You're still not using them for the actual cards though. It, EA, I, I think the game's always way more fun when there's more parity at quarterback. And, and EA is just, that they dug themselves into a hole here. These cards, what I, I, I think what they should have done is instead of 73 speed and 71 speed, this should be like 85 speed. This should be like 83 speed and the cheaper stack, right? And even that, I'd say like maybe 85 speed for Eli, maybe 87 speed for Peyton Manning, which when you immediately hear that, you're like, no, Peyton Manning's not 87 speed. But even at 87 speed, he is the slowest player on the field. So are we trying to, what, what are we trying to do? Are we trying to recreate Peyton Manning, what his actual speed was? Or are we trying to recreate what his speed was relative to everybody else on the field? Because still, all, everybody on defense is 90-something speed. Everybody on defense is faster than that. You know what I'm saying? It reminds me a lot of back, it was when I was younger, um, I played some ultimate team, and they dropped like a Larry Fitzgerald card, and he'd always be so much slower than the other receivers who were his same overall. And it's like, dude, like, I get it. But gosh, speed like plays a massive factor. Like speed's a big deal. You know what I mean? Like speed is like, you have to have speed there, dude. You have to. The other thing with Bo Jackson that, that's crazy, uh, if you really like think about it, and again, like, I'm not a market guy, but like if we just take a step back and think, right, is look at this, right? This is, let's go here. This is the best, all the highest overall quarterbacks in the game. 99 overall, Patty Mahomes, Will Levis, Stafford, Fitzmagic, Joe Flacco. These are all 900K, 400K, 300K, 500, 350, 700, 270, 900, 500, 460, 333, 260, 718 for 81 speed Aaron Rodgers, 540K for Ryan and Fitzmagic. We go to Bo Jackson. You know how much Bo Jackson costs? Bo Jackson costs 250K. You can have the best, you know what I mean? That's where it's like, even from a value point of view now, it doesn't make sense. Because if Bo Jackson somehow cost five mil, right? I I'm thinking back to maybe two years ago, there was Dan Marino in the beginning of the Madden where he was like the best quarterback in the game for a while, but he was like three million coins. So you really couldn't get him. Like he was number one, but he cost three million coins. Number one right now is just 247K everybody's going to use this card. And man, they, 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 they dug themselves into a hole with this. Not including the fact that, and I, I don't care about this unless you're like, I think this is one of the most overrated things that people talk about that is so irrelevant unless you are a guy who's like deep into Madden is his quarterback release is traditional four, AKA the best release. Oh, I didn't even mention too. He gets, and he also gets zero AP hot raw master. I didn't even like mention that, but he like he does because of the the um where's the freaking is it technician? Is that what it's called? I want to say it right. It's a master technician. Let me see. Make how make how routes faster. Yeah, get extra hot routes. Yeah. So he gets it. You just have to wait nine plays. Calculable runs. Ah, oh. and dang, it's too bad. I'm a big. I, I like Eli Manning. I, I like. I like when it, there is like a more of a pocket passing meta. It's kind of, I mean, it's just different. And we've had rolling out Bo Jackson for the past month or so. So it's whatever. But I don't know, man. It, it, it's interesting. I don't, I don't really know what EA does here except for release another Bo Jackson clone just for a cheaper AP stack. You know what I mean? That's really the only way that that Bo Jackson doesn't become or that isn't the QB1 anymore. The other way, I guess, would be cheaper stack Peyton Manning-ish, right? For like 94 speed. That's interesting, but even then, I'm not sure. I really don't know. If you guys are trying to win more games, though, you're trying to get better on offense, score more touchdowns, trying to get more stops, my website, civil.gg, you need to become a member. We have over 1,000 active members right now, and in our last survey, I think it was 99.2%, give or take a point percent, um, say, of people, of members, say they have gotten better from joining it. Like, what we do there, like, it's, it, it's sick. I love it. So I'll see you guys over there and I'll see y'all in the next video.